So this is the plate where I plated the black mold at the ends of the slime mold and looking at the black mold point on the left. First, we can see the nutrient flows kind of doing their normal business. Um, because the black mold is plated at the ends, it's not directly on top of the slime mold. So the slime mold continues to kind of grow towards it in, in the pattern it had established beforehand. And on the right, rightmost point of a Niger, we can see the same thing. Um, this time the nutrient flows are flowing away, but that's pretty typical with the pulsing of the of the flows going back and forth. Um, hour 22 is the next interval. Um, looking at the left one first, we can see it's pretty immediately started growing away. Oh, also for hour zero, I hadn't quite figured out how to move the microscope around yet, but now I have. And we can see the 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 hairy the hairy uh, black mold growing outwards and most of the slime mold has left the area. Um, mostly just leftover slime as the slime mold uh, leaves a trail behind it moving away from the black mold. Some form signs of life, the yellow here is still visible, um, meaning part of that is probably living, but it is in the process of retracting away. As you can see. Going way up into the depths of the slime mold now, I guess. Okay, here we go on the right. Wait a second. Yeah. Now you can see for this one, the slime mold has grown all the way through the black mold, in fact. Um, it's continued its line directly through the path of the A. Niger um, and continued to branch outwards in the area, basically just ignoring it, it seems. It has done some retracting in some areas, but that's that's also just normal, um, as it solidifies the most efficient path from nutrient sources. Um, hour 47 is the next checkpoint. Um, looking at the left one first, you can see a dramatic change in where the slime mold is generally. Um, it's now occupying the entire lower half of the dish instead of the upper half. Um, and only one little blob of living slime mold is visible, and it seems really confused and alone. Um, that's because all of it has migrated, again, down to the bottom of the dish, um, and we can see the hair, The I don't know what they're called, but the hairs of the A. niger really spreading. Looking at the right, we can see the same thing, um, completely devoid of living slime mold, just just slime trails and um, A. niger fibers um, in this region. Our 72 is the next checkpoint, and the slime mold has grown back up again, but still avoiding the immediate A. niger region. This, I don't even know what this is. I found this on the plate. It looks like it's part of the black mold, but it doesn't look like slime mold, so that's my only guess. Um, and moving around the area, there's the Black mold itself, the A. niger itself, um, fibrous as usual, um, and just tons of goop and leftover slime with no living slime mold whatsoever. Looking at the rightmost point again, um, see pretty much the same thing. Um, totally taken over by A. niger, at least in that small point. Um, plate two is, I don't know why I said that twice, but intersections, um, here I plated one looking at this top one, a niger in a web of slime mold. This is hour zero, we can see, again, the cytoplasmic flows just kind of carrying on as, as usual. Um, and looking at the bottom one, which is also at an intersection, it's the intersections plate, um, 
just sort of see the placement where it's it's right at a critical critical juncture of slime mold. R22, um, looking at the top one, things appear to be about the same. If anything, the slime mold trail has sort of um, solidified itself and concentrated itself in the region. Um, it's eliminated a lot of the superfluous lines and just sort of focused its energy on the line going straight through the a Niger, interestingly enough. Looking at the bottom one, it's slightly different. The dominant line has shifted downwards, um, and they put all their energy into that line. But still, slime mold does exist in small networks around this um, A Niger blob, which also appears to be growing a little bit, it looks like. Um, R47, looking at the top one, same thing, pretty much. Um, Looking a little bit closer, it does look as though things are starting to move away in the region, although living slime mold does still occupy very proximal to A Niger. Um, only cutting through at one point, though. Um, and looking at the lower one, the same situation. Primarily a lot of um, residue slime, but... but some some living slime mold proximal to it as well not necessarily going straight through it anymore though um, our 72 things take a dramatic change and all the slime mold has now grown on the right side of the plate instead of the left um, and you can see dark really dark slime trails over everywhere where the A Niger was, um, I'm led to believe that the A the the slime trails are so dark because it was transporting um, black mold spores in it. Um, and you can see on this image that it it looks darker than normal or more opaque than normal. Um, I later plated a sample of the slime trail on a different plate. Um, and allowed it to grow, and it did in fact grow more fungi, um, which again leads me to think that the A Niger was using the slime mold to transport its spores. Um, plate three, I plated the uh, A Niger along the lines of the slime mold, not at an intersection, but just straight on a line. Uh, here's looking at the right one, short clips, cytoplasm closed as usual. Saw left before, now right. Um, things looking pretty standard. R22, um, on the leftmost point of A Niger, we can see the slime mold immediately receding um, away from the A Niger, and the A Niger starting pr to proliferate a little bit, sprouting out some hairs. Um, there is still some living slime mold in the region. You can see the yellow stripe. Um, but primarily the area is, is starting to look more residual than, than living here. Um, the slime mold is still going directly through the A Niger, through the black mold. Um, you can see the nutrient flows a little bit there. Um, and this one little lone strand of slime mold. Our 47. The leftmost point of A Niger is devoid of slime mold. Um, it's, yeah, completely, I don't know, the microscope settings were a little weird on this one, but you can see just, just the hair of the A Niger and slime residue everywhere. Um, that's the closest living slime mold over there. Um, all in all, it is moving away from the A Niger quickly. <laughs> I'm looking at the rightmost one, the same thing is starting to happen. You can see the ends of the slime mold beginning to um, trail away, pretty much, um, where they've sort of packed up their things and um, are moving quickly away from the A Niger. Not not fully evacuated yet, but you can see them starting starting the process in action. And by R72, 
Um, you can see the leftmost point is, again, totally empty of slime mold, um, just the residue. Um, and I, I'm not sure that it had the same effect as the intersections one, where it used the slime mold to transport its, um, its spores. Because these don't necessarily look as opaque as the last ones, though they do seem to have some, some black spots in them. Um, so it's possible that that happened on this plate as well. Um, and this one's interesting. The slime mold has recolonized around the A. niger and is now overlapping with its old slime trails, um, which seem to be colonized by A. niger spores, the slime trails. Um, so you can see interesting intersection between old slime trails with A. niger and new slime mold trails, or new slime mold branches, um, all around the region of the, of the initial A. niger plating.